I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction, here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, August the 19th, brought to you in part by Sweet Pro, the right ingredients in the right block that boosts fertility, improves herd health, and allows calves to gain more weight. Big day on Tuesday, multi-videos going on. Of course, you had your big Superior Bighorn Classic. You had Western Video Markets big sale out at uh, Little American Cheyenne. Had a lot of in-house videos going on, uh, a lot of them on DV Auction. Ozarks, Ozarks Regional Stockyard in West Plains, Missouri had their first ever in-house video. It went off without a hitch. I knew they could do it. Sold about 20 loads on there and it was snappy. A lot of internet bidding going on there. Bluegrass Stockyards in Lexington had a big sale. That was their uh, usually their big barbecue blowout. Uh, didn't were not able to feed the the masses and have the big get together, but they did have a, a special sale with lots of yearlings there. Uh, watched that sale there for a while, and then they had a, a, a bunch of cattle on their in-house video too. But uh, pretty active around big day for me uh, after being gone uh, up in the Midwest all last week and over the weekend. Drove down on Tuesday to Archer City, Texas. Uh, uh, the, had the filming of the, the la last picture show there many years ago, but didn't see Sybil Shepherd uh, prancing around topless or otherwise. So, uh, but did have a nice talk there with a, a nice group of people there, and then saw some old friends that I hadn't seen for a long time. But uh, we uh, had a, a lot of videos going on, a lot of top prices on there, sold fats. Uh, your, your board came back a little bit so it made us think that maybe we have not gotten to the to point where everybody's going to jump on and, and hedge. Uh, I know our fat cattle market, fat cattle futures didn't really come back that much but uh, uh, they didn't completely tank on them yet. I think maybe we still got a little bit of bounce in this futures market before everybody starts dogpiling on it with their hedges but uh, higher fat cattle market again but uh, a really active Tuesday, and it seems like here lately, Tuesdays have been really active. But let's look at the board for Tuesday, August Live Cattle Futures, down just 17 cents at 106.72, but we thought maybe they were about to fall out of bed. But now where we've got to uh, the point where uh, we've, we've closed up that basis now, and, uh, and so we uh, are ready for that that contract to mature and we're getting here in the latter part of August and it's going to so everything's right with the world. October was unchanged to end the day at 109.87. Going out from there on your live cattle futures they were down a nickel to up 50 cents. August feeder cattle were up 50 cents at 143.22. September was up a buck 20 at 145.60 going out to your out fronts on feeder cattle up 50 cents to up a buck 17. Uh, I guess we've uh, seen everything we're going to see from the damage on the uh, the corn up in Iowa with the big windstorm that they had on there. President Trump was there. Uh, they've declared that a disaster and he's promised to give those folks all the help that he can give them. Uh, your corn uh, new crop Chicago Board of Trade futures were actually down three cents so I guess we caught up and, and uh, gained about 40 cents or so on that contract and, and uh, maybe it's going to start tailing off a little bit. But fat cattle trading. Uh, we did see higher prices again. We've been seeing that. Tuesday morning early, we're seeing your packers come out and, and pay or at least bid higher prices there, uh, even sometimes before the board opens, and, and that's been a big shot in the arm. We've gained a lot of ground here in the last three weeks or so. Iowa had confirmed sales of 1,600 head on Tuesday from 106 to 108 live. That's one to two dollars higher for the most part. Nebraska didn't sell very many confirmed, but about 800 head, 106 live and 170 on a dress basis. Kansas is where all the action is. They're so current up in the Northern Plains, they're kind of hard to trade with. And your uh, Northern Plains Packers keep dipping down into Kansas. And, and it's your regionals doing, doing a lot of that because they're reaching for some of those 
best cattle but i tell you what we're seeing uh, uh, record numbers of cattle grading choice and prime right now and i've been telling you guys that we're kind of caught up on our head counts that we were backed up but we're not quite caught up on the weight so uh, the cattle that uh, we have out there are running a heavier weight the ones that are market ready but i think we're kind of caught up on our numbers uh, Texas may be behind just a little bit, but uh, tell you what, the Northern Plains and especially those regional packers have dipped down into Kansas and got them cleaned up pretty good too. Kansas had confirmed sales 13,100 head on Tuesday from 103 to 108. Huge price range on a live basis there. Uh, on your steers and heifers in Kansas but uh, 107 trading early in the morning is what kind of got things kicked off and then quite a bit of 106 but had some heifers there bring 108 and then some deals at 103 but uh, a big price range there but a, a lot of that trade there in Kansas one to three dollars higher than the bulk of last week Texas 1300 head confirmed there uh, all at 106 and that's straight up two dollars higher in Texas so a uh, good day starting off on the right foot on your fat cattle even though your board was down on Monday so uh, glad to see them shake that off and go right back to a higher market box beef cutout values have gained a ton of ground this week again gained 12 bucks uh, within the last week and it must be nice for your packers to have some hand in, in the selling relationship there because they're having to give more for fat cattle they're just cranking it up a little bit uh, on what they're selling and, and it'd be nice to have that kind of control on your selling end and uh, and your fat cattle guys are starting to get that back a little bit they've got a lot more hand in the relationship up in the northern plains but box people cut out values on Tuesday uh, choice was up 360 for the day at 220.86. Man, that's gained a lot of ground. And select up 271 at 204.65. Don't forget some of the sales are going to be going on here on Wednesday. Your Abington Feeder Cattle Association's got their tele auction on dvauction.com, 6 o'clock in the evening central seven o'clock eastern you guys in the eastern corn belt uh if you've got a lot of corn there if you've got uh, some damaged corn i know we had some in illinois there you're going to have a lot of silage a lot of chop there uh get on to that abington feeder cattle association they've got some long long time wean calves there the quality will be outstanding they got like 26 loads of them 60 days weaned double vaccinated you can log on to dv auction watch those videos and bid on those cattle right there six o'clock in the evening dvauction.com don't forget nevada livestock marketing they've got a heck of a good sale with a lot of uh, uh mid to, to lighter weight uh, uh yearling feeder cattle six to eight hundred pound true yearling cattle there out of the desert and don't forget that load of fancy uh, red girls there replacement quality uh, out of uh, Ruby Valley there and they, they uh, ought to attract a lot of attention because I can tell you what it's hard to find fancy red replacement heifers that's going to be on dvauction.com too and you can view and bid that sale for out of Fallon Nevada uh, now let's talk about some of your sales on your videos Superior having a Bighorn Classic there in Sheridan, Wyoming. It's just unbelievable uh, what the, what these yearlings brought on Tuesday on Superior there. I don't know if they're any higher than the sales we had maybe three weeks ago, but they're right in there. These program cattle are what's so uh, impressive there. SR Cattle Company out of Sheridan, Wyoming there sold 65 heifers all programs uh, all natural nhtc uh, gap for everything 65 heifers a thousand pounds at delivery uh, late august delivery there 151 dollars for heifers guys wow how about uh, western video market uh, the last day of their sale there in cheyenne wyoming uh, they they sold some wing calves really really high how about the top of Utah calf pool? And those are good deals, guys. 
whenever those those smaller ranches get together uh, they do the same type of a program and have similar type cattle and then they pool their cattle uh, together if they don't live too far from each other they can deliver them together and then go in there and uh, and really get some top prices but that top of Utah calf pool on Western video market sale had 115 head of wean steers Garland Utah early December delivery now they're lightweights 115 wean that's the key word there wean steers 395 pounds 228.50 wow what an impressive deal there and then they had a, the big sheep sale there too on western video market about 17,000 head of, uh, of lambs there uh, the top sale I saw in there like I know a lot about the lamb market but 375 fancy Rambouillet open use there off the 5-0 ranch uh, to weigh 130 pounds brought $225 a head pretty impressive sale there how about uh, some of your other feeder markets in your brick and mortar type sales on Tuesday your real-time index uh, DV auction late in the day on Tuesday at 142.06 down just two cents and with all these big sales going on everywhere uh, that's pretty impressive to hold the line on that but uh, West Plains uh, I told you about their first ever in-house video sale there in the ring they had 3700 head market was steady but uh, awful good sale there how about bluegrass stockyards in Lexington look at these sales they had here on 2200 head there uh, the market on feeder steers which is what mostly what they had feeder steers steady to five dollars higher those guys out there in, in uh, Kentucky have learned to add more value to their own cattle instead of shipping those cattle those calves right off the cow those guys are, are, are going in there and buying up their neighbors calves and uh, and other calves local cattle there adding value to them by backgrounding them there on the grass and making yearlings out of them and look at the sales on those uh, this is the online automated report uh, with DV auction here through cattle market central and uh, look at your best tested weights here 374 head six weight steers there out of bluegrass stockyards Lexington they averaged 650 pounds at 155.75 268 head of the seven weight steers averaged 730 at 148.31 and then 409 head of the eight weight steers there in Lexington Kentucky averaged 857 137.65. Uh, it was Tuesday. We got to talk about Denny Rezac Livestock Commission there in St. Mary's, Kansas. About 1,600 head, a little bit lighter than what they've had, but the market was uh, unevenly steady. Let's call it two to three higher, two to three lower on your best tested weights. Uh, look at your steers there on your seven weight category 269 head of those average 740 at 146.41 392 head of the eight weight steers averaged 832 145.34 and then uh, 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 one uh, class of heifers there 427 head of the seven weight heifers St. Mary's Kansas averaged 759 135.13 how about winter livestock in Lahana, Colorado? Winter live right there, my friend John Campbell there. Do yourself a favor and look up his videos. Uh, they're educational and entertaining at the same time. He's really a good guy. Starting to get some uh, big yearlings there. Uh, many, many strings of them, and I just pulled out the bigger loads of them. But you look at the top uh, one that I saw there, 63 head, 834 pound steers, bring 142.35 Lahana, Colorado. But the top sale I saw anywhere on Tuesday in a brick and mortar sale was at Alma Livestock Auction, Alma, Nebraska, 59 head, 914 pound steers, bring $143. And that's your feeder flash for Wednesday.